Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Isla and I love all things health, beauty, fitness, and all that good stuff. Today I'm going to talk to you about how I wake up at 5 a.m. every single morning. I always post about this on Instagram, so if you want to follow me day to day, you follow me on there. Um, my name's just Isla Jones on Instagram. But I always post that I'm like at the gym at 5 a.m. or sometimes I'm just like doing homework at 5 a.m. and people are always like, how do you get up that early? And I forget that that's kind of a weird thing. Um, I've always gotten up that early, um, or at least like towards the end of college, I started getting up that early and I found that I was a lot more productive in the morning. And it just made me feel so good. So I thought I'd share some tips with you guys because a lot of people like wonder how I do that. And maybe you'll find that you're more productive if you wake up that early too. So my first step is super obvious. It's just go to sleep early. I don't know. <laughs> this is what I normally answer people. I'm like, I just go to sleep early. I don't know. Um, I go to sleep at 9 a.m. every night or I try to. I feel optimal with like nine hours of sleep. But nine to five is actually eight hours of sleep. And that's like all I can really work in my schedule. So I make sure I'm trying to be in the bed at nine. A lot of times that means I'm winding down at 8.30. I try to be in the bed at 8.30 and like do my last like scrolling through Instagram, read through a magazine, something like that, just to put me in the headspace of like it's time to go to bed. Um, maybe you only need seven hours of sleep. Maybe you only need six hours of sleep. So maybe you can get away with going to bed a little earlier. But I would encourage you to find that like sweet time, spot time that you feel like you're the best. Um, and work towards going to sleep at that every night. They suggest between nine to seven hours of sleep, so I do eight. <sighs> yeah, just work really hard at, you know, trying to go to bed at that time. It's not easy, and right now I'm kind of going through a phase because I've been traveling, and I've been traveling through different time zones, so it's really hard for me right now to get tired at nine, and I just encourage you to keep trying, like keep th powering through. If you keep waking up at 5 a.m. or however early you want to wake up, you will eventually get tired. Um, you know, don't let it, be like, oh, I didn't get to sleep early, so I'm not gonna wake up early. No, don't do that. Like, if you don't get to sleep early, that's fine, but still wake up early the next day and just power through the next day and you'll eventually get tired earlier at night because you're waking up so early during the day. So that's my first tip. Second tip is don't click snooze the next morning. Just get up or just at least, like what I do, I, I would never say that I'm like, super energized right when my alarm clock goes off at 5 a.m. but I don't click snooze. I maybe just sit on my phone for five minutes because that does help me to wake up just to like look at the light but I don't click snooze and go back to sleep because I don't know if you're like me and keep clicking snooze and you'll like waste your whole morning and you won't even you might as well just slept in an extra hour and not just click keep clicking snooze. So just wake up either look at your phone for five minutes to get you up or just get out of bed just get up when your alarm clock goes off. My third tip is to have an intention. So have an intention of why you want to wake up at 5 a.m. Don't just like say, oh, I want to be more productive, so I'm going to wake up at 5 a.m. Um, a lot of times I wake up early because I can't get stuff done during the day that I want to, or I like that as kind of my me time. So in different phases of my life, I've gotten up early to do homework. Right now I get up at 5 a.m. every day to go to the gym. Um, and that really makes me feel good. And setting an intention to get up at 5 a.m., is going to help you to first of all wake up because I know if I don't do my workout at 5 a.m. that I'm probably not going to do it the rest of the day. So sometimes I'm like, I'm just going to sleep in today, but I'm like, I really won't get my workout in if I do that. Or maybe you have a personal project. Sometimes, you know, I work on my blog post at 5 a.m. and I know that that's my time to do that. And I kind of get excited to wake up and be like, oh, this is my one hour I can do this because I have a ton of other stuff to do the rest of the day that's not really like enjoying. So, or that I get fulfillment out of. So, Setting an intention will help you and it also will help you, it kind of encourages you to keep getting up because when you feel good about what you've gotten done during that hour or however long you have before work or before your day actually starts, you're like, I'm so glad that I did that. Or at least I am. I'm always like, you know, that really sucked like the first 15 minutes of having to wake up, but I'm so glad that I did that. I'm going to do it again tomorrow. And I think it keeps encouraging you to do it over and over again, regardless if you're really tired in the morning. So I can't guarantee you're never gonna be tired, but it does feel so good when you get all of your stuff done that you wanted to get done that day. My fourth tip is keep at it. Like it's not gonna be easy, especially when I travel or I go somewhere else. It's so hard to get back on schedule. So when you're away, really try hard to keep waking up at 5 a.m. or whatever time you wanna wake up, whether maybe that's 6 a.m. for you, but really try to stay consistent. There's a lot of studies that show that it's easier for you to keep waking up early if you just keep doing it. I don't know if that sounds like really redundant, but even if you go to bed really late at night, just keep waking up early and your body stays in that rhythm. And then also if you're just starting out with this, 
don't get discouraged if after like the first week or even two weeks your body hasn't adjusted even me sometimes it takes a while to get and I'm totally in this phase right now where it's, I'm not really like awake at five anymore I'm still tired but it sometimes takes a month or two months for your body to readjust so just keep trying to go to bed early and keep waking up early and I promise your body eventually will adjust it just takes a little while so just keep at it my fifth tip is just do it just wake up a lot of people ask me how do you do it I'm like I don't know I just do it I just go you just accept that it's a part of your new routine you know don't debate every day oh should I get up oh should I do this just know it's kind of like work it's like this is my new day I'm waking up at 5 a.m. there's no if ands or buts about it it's just I'm doing this now so you know if you have a personal project you're working on or something like that I think waking up early can really be beneficial for that reason but my one disclaimer is that it's not automatically going to make you more productive I would say that I'm more productive in the morning time so that's why I like doing this but the whole point of waking up early is because you are setting an intention in a for what you're gonna do when you wake up. You could very well do that too. Maybe you're a night person and you're like, I'm really productive in the late hours, which I used to be, but now I'm not, I don't know. But, you know, set, do the same thing at night and just say from nine to 11 p.m., I'm working on this. You know, I think people are more successful in the morning because they're setting an intention, but you can definitely still be successful at night if you don't feel like you can wake up early by just doing the same thing that people do in the morning but doing that at night. So saying, okay, at nine o'clock, I'm gonna start doing this for an hour. I'm gonna do my personal project. I'm gonna start reading this book for one hour um, and just do it. I mean, the only caveat I feel, I've tried to do that before, but first of all, I get way too tired at night. And second of all, there's just too many distractions. I feel like if you do it in the morning, it's like, well, what's gonna distract you? Like, you're, you're tired. That's it like no not a lot of other people are up at 5 a.m like there's not like all these thoughts going around my head i feel very fresh there's pretty much like nothing standing in my way except myself those are my five tips for how to wake up at 5 a.m and be more productive in your day hopefully this helps you to be a little more motivated and a little more productive and get things that you've been wanting to get done early in the morning i feel like it's definitely helped me with that over the past couple of years so if you like this video please like and subscribe i post videos every week thank you